What's going on guys? <clears throat> Back for another quick build. What I'm doing today is I am going to install my own, I'm saying install, but I'm going to build a little swing set between these two trees. You know, my, my backyard is like a jungle, man. So I figured instead of getting these trees all taken down, let's just use them for play. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do between, between these two trees at about 90, five inches it's about 105 inches so i'm gonna show you guys the beam i bought bought a uh, four by six by ten foot long beam i'm gonna cut it to length and put it up here let's go inside and look at the beam and see what we are doing on the measurements there here we are at the 10 foot beam so you see four by six by ten i have the tape measure laid out on here measured it off at 104 inches 104 and a half inches right so what i did was i took the swings uh the seats and just you know you can choose it's arbitrary just choose how far apart you want the buckles to be or the i bought these on amazon these will pretty much act as a bearing you see the nylon bushings in, in between here this is pretty heavy duty right here. So what I'll do, I chose to do uh, 24 inches in between each buckle to hold up the chains of the swing seat. So you can see that these two are spaced 24 inches apart. These two are spaced 24 inches apart. And I will uh, measure, so I'll measure these, make some circles make circles in those holes and bore into it and bolt these in to the bottom of the beam. All right, you could choose any width that you feel like. I just chose this because I felt that would uh, work for, you know, a backyard swing set <clears throat> in between the two swings. So we're going from 41 inches here to 64 inches. Like I said, it's arbitrary, it's random. So. 23 inches is what I chose. I felt that it was a comfortable distance from one swinging, swinging child to the next. So that's what I'm going with. So what I'm gonna do, make a mark at 64 inches. That's for the, mid, the midpoint of the buckle. And then I will draw circles in there. That's just a rough, I'll bring the T-square out. Coming for the midpoint. All right. And then what I'll do is we'll go. Okay, I'm struggling a little bit. We will go here, and then I'll make a cross in, the, in between these two, which will be, so this is actually three and a half instead of four wide. So we'll do at uh, one and three quarters. We'll be halfway through, halfway between these two, all right? One and three quarters. It's right there. And then I'll come back and straighten that up. All right. I will not televise the entire struggle. Okay, as you can see now, I made my cross section. So where these lines meet, this here is the center line. Where these two lines meet, that's where I will drill a pilot hole. And then, uh, And, I'll, and when I do that, I'll come back with my, uh, this is a, a quarter inch by two inch, right? And we will go in here and attach 
our brackets on here perfectly. All right, I'll be back when um, I'm finished and show you guys what it's looking like. Okay, so what you see here, I have it bolted, but I have it loose so that I can, I'll come back and then I'll do my precise tightening of it so that everything matches up the entire way down the board. Okay. Hey, if you want to do this, make sure you drill a pilot hole and you drill it deep enough to go to go at least, I would say, three quarters of the way of your bolt. That's what I would do. That's what I did. It's just safe in my estimation. You just wanna make sure you don't crack your wood, man. You don't wanna crack your beam or your log or whatever you're using, whatever boards you might be using, you don't wanna crack it. These are gonna swing like champs, even though they're not really I don't do too much swinging. I know you might be thinking, why we use stainless here and galvanized here? I just felt like buying it, man. Screw it. All right, so let's sit on this part here. Uh, well.
Okay, it's time to cut, it's time to cut this bad boy to length. You see, I have my mark. You know, I only have a this is only a 10 inch saw, so I might have to flip this thing over and cut it on both ends. I'll probably have to sand that out. I didn't look at it before I uh, did all this. Never forget your PPE goggles, earplugs, circumural earmuffs, and gloves. Even with a hole in it. All right, I got it up there. This is real rough, but I got it up there just to check uh, my level. This ladder, I didn't even have to buy it. Whoever owned the house before me, they left it, so it's a win-win. But let's go up and check our level. I just want to tell you, everything I did was rough. I, I had to really eyeball everything. I used a few measurements, but everything was a rough measurement. So. If you decide to do this at your house, hopefully your two trees are evenly leveled with each other. Mine aren't, so I had to use my eyeballing days from my old ways and uh, measure it out. Let's see how close to level we are. Uh. Okay. That's it. I believe the great Gorilla Zoe said, I don't need a scale for the work. I can eyeball perp. I am not you jerks. That's not to diss anybody, but that's a rough right there. I'll secure it up there. We'll get back, put some swings on it and see how well we hold weight. Next step is to put the clips, hang the clips up on our brackets all right we got our clips hanging up time to add the swings and there you have it well there you have it so that is brand new so that's why it's all curved up like that you see they're brand new so they were in a box that's what it curved up like that if this of these products belong to you and you would like me to shout your name out all you got to do is sponsor the channel and I will add names of companies. I will tell you guys, this stuff didn't cost that much money. It was, everything was fairly priced and uh, I got on it myself. It can hold my weight. I'm about 200, maybe around 205 right now with all these wet clothes on because I'm sweating. So now my daughter has swings in her backyard and she can swing when she wants you know I, I chose different colors you see the red brackets we have the yellow chain and we have the green seats and you know just add a little little fun to the backyard by the way i use joist hangers four by four joist hangers to hang the beam between the two trees you can use something heavier duty actually maybe in the future I'll do another video of me adding a more heavy duty bracket up there or bracing mechanism up here. All right, that's all we got. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you share it, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you would like to do this project in your backyard, be sure to shout at me, shout at me, and I will watch your video. Thanks for watching.